Good morning, friends. Welcome to PD classes. Today, a very important session for all those doctors who are going for CAPF interview. I hope, students, this particular session, which is in a form of mock session, will definitely be fruitful to you. I hope one more thing from you: you will be enjoying our both channels, PD classes and intro guide, because on both the channels you will be getting CAPF doctor-related videos definitely. So this session, uh, Anjal, yes. I want uh, this sessions regarding medical portion also as well as HR round. So okay, this mock session, I want you to participate. Okay, sir. So Anjal, my first question is: Vernic is encephalopathy is due to the deficiency of which vitamin? Sir, it is due to the deficiency of vitamin B1. Wonderful. In Alzheimer disease, there is an atrophy of which lobe of brain? Sir, it is parietal as well as temporal lobe. Wonderful. Chali, what is the ideal door of a uh, door to balloon time in case of ST elevated MI? Sir, it's just within 90 minutes. Yes. Name the most common autoimmune disorder. SLE. Systemic lupus erythematosus. Yep, sir. Name the surfactant present in the lung and from where it is produced. So the surfactant is DP, PC and it is produced by type 2 pneumocytes. Right. I have some HR questions and after that again I will go with some medical portions. Okay sir. So my first question that uh, how many forces are under CAPF? Can you tell? Yes sir, there are many forces. Mostly there are six, six. and I can name a few. Please. And uh, they are CRPF. Right. Uh, along with that uh, are some rifles right. and SSB. Yes. ITBP. Yep. And CISF and yes. NSG. Yes sir. Uh, in which ministry CAPF works? Sir, it works under Ministry of Home Affairs. Good. And what is the main objective of CAPF? Sir, it is mostly concerned with the internal thre uh, threats. Right. What is the meaning of your name? Sir, my name is Anchal and the meaning of my name is Base of the Mountains. And okay. I can very well say that I am very much similar to my name as I consider myself to be that person that can lead a group. Okay. Uh, who conducts the exam of CAPF? Sir, it is under UPSC. Okay. Is CAPF an army? No, sir. Army or Indian Army is mostly concerned with the external threats okay. and it comes under the Ministry of Defense. Right. But the CAPF, it comes under the Ministry of Home Affairs and it is also concerned with the threats in the internal country. Okay. I am having a next question for you. Name the different types of ischemic heart diseases. Sir, it is non-ST elevated MI yes. and ST elevated MI. Right. Any more name? Sir, they are stable angina and unstable angina. Wonderful. Uh, till yet you have answered very well. Thank uh, you, sir. Now my next question is, Anjal, what are the drawbacks of using conventional spirometer? Sir, I would say the drawbacks are that it can't measure RV, FRC and TLC. Can you tell me that full form of TLC? Yes, sir. It is total lung capacity. Right. Tell me, diabetic ketoacidosis shows which type of metabolic disorders? Sir, it shows high anion gap metabolic acidosis. Right. Name the different types of uh, dialysis procedures? Hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Right. Tell me the dose for acute attack of migraine. Sir, that would be triptans and SAITs. Right. Resatriptans and sumatriptans. Okay. Tell me before uh, these medicines, anything is recommended? Any dose, any drug? Yes, sir. It is domperidon. Wonderful. So again, I will be going with some HR round questions. That, uh, Anjal, why you opted to join CAPF? Sir, I can say from the early childhood days, I have been a courageous person and I like challenges. Along with that, I can also say that it would be a matter of pride for me to be a part of this job. Okay. Along with that, my most important thing or I can say the thing that I am prioritizing here is that I love the jobs with uniforms. Okay. And why you opted doctor profession? You can go with other professions also. Yes, sir. I believe that every profession is a noble profession. But for me, being a doctor is in my blood. My grandfather uh, was also a doctor. Okay. And I just wanted to follow his footsteps. Along with that, I have also been curious in the biology uh, subject. And okay. even in the school life, I got the highest marks in biology. And I got 10 CGPA for my 10th and 12th percentages. So I can say that 
being a doctor is something that uh, I, can, I can say that I, sh uh, I saw it in my blood from the very beginning. Okay. Anjal, if biology is your favorite, then can you tell me the graveyard of RBC is called? Yes, sir. It is spleen. Yes. Okay. Now, again, I have some interesting questions for you. Uh, first of all, I want to know about your strengths and weaknesses. Yes, sir. Sir, see, I would say that my strength is that uh, I am a critique. I don't like poorly executed work. If that work is not up to the standard that I am expecting, I am going to criticize that person as well as his work. So I would say that it is my strength. Along with that, it can also be my weakness as the person I am criticizing is go not going to like what I am criticizing and I am criticizing his job as well as him. So I would say that uh, being a critique is both my strength and my weakness. Okay. And what are your hobbies? Sir, my hobbies mostly consist of reading books and uh, I can, as you can already guess that uh, reading these books that uh, include something that is on the medical side. So I would say reading these books along with that traveling is also one of my hobbies. So which places you have visited till yet? Sir, I have visited many places. In fact, I can say that I have visited the four corners of India. Which is your favorite? Sir, north side would be my favorite. I like it. would be posted uh, quite far from your place. So, will you go? Yes, sir. I have no problem. As I already told you that my hobby is traveling. Okay. So, being a, a homesick person is not something in my blood. Even That's my right. parents, they have served out of country and sometimes even very far from the places. So, okay. even if they are not uh, that much homesick, so I am not also yes, yes, homesick. Yes, you are going for CAPF, you should not have nostalgic feelings at all. Yes, sir. Good. Why should we recruit you only? There are so many candidates, others waiting in the same queue. Sir, first of all, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, the answer to the question of why you should select me is something that I can't judge others who are also standing in a queue just like me. Okay. So, but I can assure you of my strengths, of my particular traits that can help uh, this nation, that can help this sector uh, increase and improve more and more. And I would also be the one who is the most dedicated to the task at hand. I would say that my strengths strength and my hobbies are something that is going to help me with this job and I can just prove myself if you give me the opportunity. Anchor, any of your achievement during your studies? Yes, sir. During my internship, I got the opportunity to serve the nation or serve people okay. in the COVID wards. Okay. And uh, during that time also, I got the certificate for best service. That's wonderful. Suppose you don't get selected in CFBF interview then? Sir, unfortunately, if I don't get selected at this time, then I would at least get to know my weaknesses. I would also get to know where I limit myself okay. and I would try to improve myself and I can assure you the next time I would definitely be selected. Right. I just suppose you are on your way and uh, you found one policeman is injured and uh, along with that one civilian is also got injured. So whom will you serve first? Treat S first. Um, so this is going to be a question that is really interesting and my answer would be it depends completely on the severity. If the policeman is the one who is the most injured then I am going to serve him first but if the civilian is the one who is the most injured then I am going to serve him first. Why? Because this is something that the doctors are trained for. We don't see which rank the person, the patient is. Right. We just see the severity of the condition. If both of them are injured at the same time then I am just going to see who is the most injured and I am going to serve the, that person first. Anchal, what type of people you don't like to work with? Sir, I'm not a picky person. I'm not a choosy person. I can say that I work. I can work with anyone as I'm versatile. Okay. I can adjust to the situation, and I also know that all the fingers on the same hand are not similar. Okay. And just like that, in the human, in the human nature, and in the human society, we have many different personality person, and they are not really that much similar. And some are going to be very easy to work with, and some are going to be very difficult to work with. So at that moment, I have to prepare myself to work with everyone. And for that, I can just assure you that my versatile personality is going to help me with that. Wonderful. And uh, you tell me, you like to work alone or in a team? Sir, I have no problem with working in a team, but I also have no problem in working alone. But I prefer to work in a team because at that moment, we can help more and more people. Okay. I hope uh, this particular session which we have taken with Anchal, uh, students you know very well that uh, we are not professional doctors so do comment anything if you found any 
uh, loopholes in this interview we are ready to accept other than that if you have any question regarding your own life definitely we will help you you can ask in comment box we are ready to help you students thank you so much for watching us thank you anjal for participating in this interview thank you thank you sir